Hello everyone! So I am here with a little bit belated but not super bad considering how bad I can be. Um, a little bit belated update for Pan as Old as Time which is this year's Fantastic Ladies collab theme for Pan Matte Palette. So everyone is focusing on their oldest palette. I've chosen to focus on my two oldest because I don't know when to stop apparently. <laughs> So first up is the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler and I thought I would make a lot more progress in this than I did but I have made some decent progress so let me zoom you in and show you. So as you might be able to tell in intense gaze I have a little bit of a dip going and same with pink champagne I have a dip going up in that upper corner so not a ton of progress though and I feel like the main reason for that is just instead of using just these shadows I've been using them in conjunction with because what I like to do is I have like a matte crease and then I have a shimmer lid. And instead of just using these on the lid, I've also been using these shimmer shades. So I feel like that might have been why I didn't make as much progress as I thought I would. So for this coming month, I really want to continue to focus on intense gaze. I think if I try and incorporate that into more looks, I can definitely hit pan on that this coming month. So that's my goal. And then secondly, we have the Tartlet in Bloom. So let me zoom you in again. So as you can see, I do have Pan right here in Funny Girl. So that's nice. Um, I think for next month, I'll probably hit pan in either, what is this, Charmer or Flower Child, anticipate that happening, and I'll probably expand the pan in Flower Child, but I don't really foresee myself hitting pan on any shade other than these two, just because I use these a lot when I'm blending and things like that. So. Yeah, we'll see. So I've hit pan in one shade, and I did want to run something by you guys. I don't really use dark colors, so I almost want to just destroy these two shades because I will never use them. Because Smoke Show isn't even a black, it's just a really, really dark gray. Sorry, can't see that Smoke Show. And then Activist is just a really, really dark brown, but if I'm going to reach for anything that's that dark, I'm just going to go ahead and reach for a black, like Noir that's in the ABH palette. So do you guys think it would be cheating if I just like, I don't know, took a nail file or something, like a metal nail file and just dug those two out of the palette? Would that be cheating? Let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you are doing a Pan That Palette this year. That way I can check you out. I've been binge watching them. They are super relaxing for me. And they're just something easy to watch when I come home from work and I need to distress a little bit. So yeah, let me know. If 
you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Wow, I didn't zoom you guys out as much as I thought I did. This is a little uncomfortable. We came this far, so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my face, you can either check out my channel and the other videos I have, or you can hit the subscribe button, or both. Both is good. And as always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful whatever time of the day it is, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys.